What's going on there, folks? Good morning. The Earth Master here on the live stream uh, uh, with an update video on this uh, early Saturday morning. Of course, uh, quite a bit of uh, tsunami uh, stuff going on out there, including the West Coast out here in California. Looks like uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into the activity taking place here along the West Coast and Hawaii area following a uh, underwater uh, volcanic eruption there in the Tonga area from the uh, Hunga Tonga volcano uh, triggered a, uh, a tsunami threat or at least a tsunami advisory across the uh, Pacific. You can see the, uh, the location of that event down here. Uh, of course the magnitude uh, only shows a one here but it did trigger a uh, tsunami statement um, from the tsunami.gov website uh, looking at the west coast still underneath a tsunami advisory i was looking at the current buoys and it uh, looks like they're uh, just arriving or at least have arrived here within the last hour or so along portions of the aleutian trench and the west coast uh, i can see things kind of lighten up out there a little bit uh, i don't see anything specifically right here in northern california lighten up at the moment uh, but the uh, the um, wave itself i believe has hit you can see a little height adjustment there off the uh, area off the coast of northern california and nothing significant it doesn't look like it anyway i know some coasts are or some beaches are closed you can see a little bit of a height adjustment there off the uh, coast of oregon as well and up there of course, all through Alaska got that uh, pretty much the same reading. Nothing more significant than California. Just a little bit of a, um, a height difference, if you will. And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I was kind of reading about that this morning. Um, had I known this thing produced a uh, tsunami, I would have gone over there and uh, recorded this incident this here is a satellite image from the uh well from the um, eruption of the hunga tonga volcano there yesterday you can see the massive cloud put this back into motion uh, and you could see that uh just an awesome explosion right there of the volcano it's pretty unreal uh, far as the probability of this thing producing uh, further eruptions is, uh, well, it's it's up there as well. So we're kind of keep an eye on that at the moment. Um, if that is the case, this thing starts to send off more tsunami waves. I'm going to head over to the uh, the coast here in Northern California and see if I can't observe some tsunami waves. Uh, the threat, I think, is, is too late at the moment to head over there. It's about a three-hour drive from me, uh, from where I'm at here in California. Uh, let's see what we got in the uh, Hawaii area. Some stations there in event mode just on the west side. You can see some height differences here as well. Uh, nothing significant again as I mentioned. But uh, beaches, I know beaches are closed in Southern California area due to the uh, threat of the tsunami. But uh, you know, even a small tsunami adjustment can uh, definitely create uh, a little bit of uh, uh, wave differences out there, especially if people aren't paying attention uh, when they're around the beach area. So yeah, looking at the map there, definitely triggered a uh, whole bunch of buoys in the area to, to go off like that. Uh, let's read some more on this info here from the tsunami.gov website, which is still, uh, I believe it's still active. There's still that advisory for the uh, uh, Gulf of Alaska down through uh, Canada all the way down to the Southern California area from this event right here. Let's see if... Uh, hold on a second here. I'm going to bring in the uh, latest one. Look at that magnitude one. <laughs> Crazy. The latest one, at least for the West Coast region number seven has been put out. Uh, tsunami has been confirmed and some impacts are expected. Of course, a volcanic eruption has occurred in the Tonga Islands. 
Uh, here it states, please be, uh, please disregard the earthquake parameters, of course, right, 1.0, not going to trigger that. Uh, California, the coast, these are all the areas that are affected. Like I say, it could still be coming in. Um, here is the start, the start time, if you will, of the tsunami. Like I mentioned on the buoy site, you can see that a lot of these times have passed and the event has already been measured on the buoys off the coast of California. Uh, looks like San Francisco was around the 0810 time. It's going to be our time about an hour ago. And uh, of course, further south you go, or north, uh, Washington area, a little bit on the later side. Looks like arrival times are just coming into that region right now. But uh, luckily that's not uh, anything you know, too scary when it comes to the uh, tsunami uh, that was produced. Let's see, that was the latest info there on the tsunami uh, tsunami.gov website. Uh, as far as Hawaii goes, let's check number seven here on them. Uh, tsunami advisory continues to be in effect for the state of Hawaii. Uh, coming down here, looks like these are some of the observed uh, tsunamis there on the uh, in the area a couple of these up around the uh, two to three foot range had one observed height here in the Vanuatu area at uh, 4.6 feet wave height most of them though looking at uh, Alaska and Hawaii uh, Japan area less than a meter so only maybe a foot or two of a difference when it comes to the uh, tsunami amplitudes. Uh, and these are, of course, coming from gauges across the entire Pacific. So once again, tsunami threat still remains in effect, though. But, uh, we will keep an eye on it and um, see what it becomes see uh see if anything gets measured out here along the west coast or any reports coming in here and of course keeping an eye on the latest uh activity out there around the hunga tonga area which uh well i could see they got it listed here on the map that was actually a 5.8 underwater um eruption there that triggered that tsunami pretty powerful underwater explosion it's amazing how these things can trigger a, a pacific wide tsunami but nonetheless definitely keep an eye on it folks we'll provide further updates just wanted to get some info out uh, if this thing does trigger uh, continued activity and produce another tsunami i will be on the road uh, to uh, see if we can get any observed wave heights here along the northern california coastline at a safe distance of course um, from the uh from the region so uh, earthquake activity for the most part um, around that region aside from the 5.8 uh, looks like there was a 4.4 um, prior to this one a little bit deep into the area of the Fiji Islands at uh, 586 kilometers the rest of the Pacific looks uh, somewhat quiet at the moment right now a little bit of activity off the coast of Japan and north there onto the Japan Trench, most of this deeper activity kicking up here in the region. Uh, West Coast, seeing a little, little bit of activity over here. Uh, looking at uh, a few earthquakes there around the Garlock Fault structure, which is the Shear Fault, and uh, also a little bit of movement around the Ridgecrest area. No significant earthquake activity to report along the North American continent at the moment, uh, but uh, we will keep you guys updated on info. As it becomes available, folks, uh, have a good day. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later.